Welcome to Ask Between the Keyframes on Motionographer. Welcome, listeners, <laughs> watchers. Uh, we got a question here. Would love to know more about what studios want to see in juniors. So that's a great question. And this is something I, I deal with a lot with uh, students, right? Because they're, they're prepping, they're getting ready to graduate and go out into the world as junior designers, motion designers, just creatives, creative professionals. And I think one of the things that I, I work really hard to communicate to them is the idea that employers are looking for potential, mm -hmm. right? They're not looking, you know, at, when they're looking for a junior, when they're talking to a student who's just graduating and just coming into the workforce, they don't expect them to know everything. They don't expect right. them to be masters. And that really what they're looking for is what what they can bring and, and what they see they, they can grow into. And a lot of it is the excitement, right? Like oh, yeah. and the passion and, and you know, and, and we've talked about this a lot, you know, this idea that it's like, you know, you're bringing someone into the studio because they're going to contribute to the culture, right? They're going to bring fresh energy, fresh eyes, um, fresh enthusiasm. Yeah, it's always fun um, around the, this, t actually this time of year. So like the spring when you ha are starting to look at, junior artist portfolios, seniors coming out of school. They just bring so much enthusiasm and excitement um, into the studio. Like, and it, it just gives you like, as an old schooler, a little bit more of that, just reminder of what, what it felt like to be like, I'm gonna be working on commercials. I'm gonna see my stuff on TV. I'm gonna be seeing my stuff all over the world. And that's like a really cool feeling, you know? So. Right. It's really fun to be able to watch it through their eyes. I'm going to get paid to make stuff. I know. I mean, being a paid... Nowadays, it's like, y'all going to pay me to make stuff. <laughs> <laughs> True. Uh, but from a practical standpoint, what we look for in a junior motion designer, some of these kind of definitely do translate into other areas of design, but specifically in motion design, I like to see a reel that has design and typography. Um, but some motion design studios like to see more illustration and even cell animation. So, you know, it's really important for you to kind of focus your aim based on your skill sets and what you where you've developed um, to the right studio that's a good fit so for us we love to see design typography um, in after effects i think we don't expect um junior motion designers to have a ton of 3d experience with cinema but certainly um, a little bit of experience and um, an openness to learning and an excitement about incorporating that. I think, you know, we used to think of motion design as an after effects kind of skill set, but I think that's changing, at least for right our on. studio. Um, right on. And that I think that that makes sense. That's what I've seen um, talking to different studios or re recruiting talent. Um, the other thing I was going to say is about uh, portfolios, portfolio websites and social media, right? Mm -hmm. as, as an extension of your portfolio. Um, I had a student in a portfolio prep professional practice type class who um, was looking at their website and I was like, this is not super exciting. <laughs> and then they showed me their uh, Instagram and I was like, this is really fun and awesome. And I'm just like, why are you not showing me like these cool, fun, like it looks like you're actually excited about oh, what you're putting doing? on your yeah. Instagram. And they were like, I can do that. And I was like, uh, yeah, it's your website. And in fact, like, you know, they, they, they thought that they only could put their school projects oh, on their website. And you know what I mean? And I was like, look, like the school projects, because they're modeled off of creative briefs, professional, like, yeah, like curate it. Like, but you want to show like, this is your work. Like you can put anything you want on your website. And what I want to see is like what you're passionate about, what your strengths are yep. and you know, what's going to get me excited to, to dig deeper. Right. I agree. And I think, you know, there's two things that you mentioned here, a portfolio site. I think don't just send your Instagram for a potent to a potential employer, have a portfolio site, it, something curated that says, this is, 
this is where I'm at right now that I'm showing you. Um, it's really nice to also have a little montage or demo reel so that we can get a taste of it and then start going deeper in to the projects. If we're like, hey, well, I wonder what that was for. And then you go and you look at that project specifically. Um, it's occasionally nice to have a case study to show your thinking and your process. And certainly if it was a group project, um, giving credit um, to those other people and explaining what your role in the project is is really important. Um, and then Instagram can be an extension of that. So you're a motion designer, but maybe you're also an amazing painter. That's where I want to find that or a, an amazing cook or a foodie, or I want to learn more about you on Instagram and, and on your social channels, which you'll likely be, you know, linking to on your website. So with that, it could say a lot of really great things about you, but also know that they could say really bad things about you too. So you have to be very careful about what you're putting out into the world um, because it all of those things say things about you. So right so as an employer yeah. you see somebody's website you're intrigued you're curious yeah. you're intrigued you're going to go to their socials and yeah. see what learn a little more about yep. them and most right. of the time they're just linked right there so right um right so that's something that everybody should know then what else i think here's the thing i had one other one oh, okay here i have do you yeah, do yours and then i'll that, do mine yeah um enthusiasm for the place that you're you're reaching out to yeah. right like genuine genuine interest in mm -hmm. i would like to work for you because right um i think that car like people want to mm -hmm. know that employers want to know that you really are interested in being there and want to be a part of it and i think communicating that you know clearly concisely and with um excitement with excitement yeah, yeah. I totally, totally agree with that. Um, the other thing that we've been seeing just always historically is this, you know, there might be a low res image on their website or the render mm -hmm. in a montage isn't quite right. And you could see that they just didn't fix it or remove it completely. Like if you don't have the high res of something, like you shouldn't be showing it. Like anything that is embarrassing to be showing, you shouldn't be showing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because it's not just yep. it's not just the work itself that says something about you, it's how the work is handled. So if you didn't care enough to like up res something or um, fix a mistake, then, then that says something about how you operate. <laughs> attention to details yeah. right like that yeah precision um and then of course soft skills right like you yeah and and this is one of those things i know for me as a professor it's we talk about it um but it's a different environment like like i don't always know the way somebody's gonna act in a class doesn't always necessarily translate yeah. into the job you know and and that that reliability is the most important thing that you're going to show up in time that you're going to be able to complete tasks that you're asked to that you're going to communicate effectively within a team and, and just be a team player right like huge big time huge. and there's very little we have to go off of that through the interview process so how you communicate with us is like baseline so much of what we're judging you based on. So if we email you, do you get back to us in 24 hours? Do you get back to us at all? <laughs> like um, if, if you are on the phone with us and we have, you know, five questions for you, you should come prepared with some questions for us. Ask about our culture, ask about this, ask about what Chicago's like, ask about all these different things so that it feels like we're getting a two way reciprocal conversation here to get a sense of what it would be like to just be around you all the time. Right on. Okay, so that's what we look for in a junior artist. <laughs> um, thank you for asking the question. Yeah, try not to F it up. Don't F it up. <laughs>